every now and again, I come across stories that bring a smile to my face, right? As a content creator, somebody who's been at this for a long period of time, I've never really asked anybody for anything for free. I've always wanted to just put in the work and see how it would work out for myself, right? But every now and again, you have these quote-unquote influencers, Instagram influencers, or people who think they actually have some type of following to where they feel like they have the audacity to ask for something for free. And every now and again, somebody has to deflate their egos and put their ass back in place, right? And although this particular story happened in 2019 and before the pandemic and all of that stuff, it still resonates with me today. And I wish I would have shared it back then, but there is no better time than the present to share this particular story. So basically a resort in Shargao. Now for all of my people who have never been to Shargao, Shargao was like the surfing capital of the Philippines. So if you're really into surfing, a lot of uh, people go there to um, partake in that activity. It's a beautiful place. You know, it's nice beaches. You know, you can pretty much get an idea of what the lifestyle is all about. But a resort in Shargao slams Instagram influencers, written in the article, seeking for free stays. And they basically said, why don't y'all try to actually get a job or actually do some work? I want to read this article with for you to you guys real quick so that you get a better understanding of, you know, or at least be able to pick up what I'm putting down. The White Banana Beach Club in Shargao was not fond of influencers requesting to stay for free in exchange for social media coverage. Ladies and gentlemen, this place don't need your help. But people were constantly trying to reach out to this place to say, look... If you let me stay here for free, I will post your place and I will bring more business to you. And this must have been happening on a reoccurring basis to the point where and they felt it was an obligation for them to put out their very own post to people looking to stay for free. So the article reads, a resort in the Philippines has drawn both criticism and praise. I can't believe you would criticize these people um, for its biting messaging message urging um, Instagram influencers seeking comped rooms in exchange for social media posts to actually work. The White Banana Beach Club on the island of Shargal message went viral late in the last month when it came out after it shared a post on Facebook making it clear that influencers who requested free accommodations in exchange for coverage were not welcome. Motherfucker, I don't need you to cover my place for you so you can stay for free. Keep that shit to yourself. And I quote, we are receiving many messages regarding collaborations with influencers or um, with influencers and Instagram influencers. We kindly would like to announce that White Banana Beach Cove is not interested in collaborating with self-proclaimed influencers. They had to really throw that in there. You a self-proclaimed influencer. I've never heard of you. Nobody's ever heard of you. But you trying to stay for free kind of shit is that they threw oh they oh they was they went ham yo i love this shit so they said that they're not interested in collaborating with self proclaimed influencers and we would like to suggest try another way to eat drink and sleep for free or you can actually try working Ooh, oh that hit different <laughs> all right the article goes on and says if they are in need of influencers i'm sure the result will reach out to you until then, if you are asking for free stuff that usually costs a regular hardworking person um, a pretty penny in exchange for clout on their artificial curated IG page, that freeloading, um, that's freeloading, plain and simple. So basically, if you're asking for all this shit for free, you're trying to freeload. You're not an influencer. If I know of you, I'll reach out to you. You don't reach out to me. Basically, they were like, don't call me. I'm going to call you. I just love how they was digging in that ass, man. This was it. And people had the audacity to have some criticism towards that. You keep all that to yourself. I'll leave the rest of the um, article in the description area below for you guys to check it out. But, yo, every now and again, I come across things that put a smile on my face. I'm over here trying to grind it out on a day-to-day -day basis, put out some content that I think would be worthy for my people who will actually tune in on a daily basis. And I don't really need you to do anything for free for me. Nobody knows me well enough for me to reach out to you, talk about, let me stay for free. As a matter of fact, I don't really need that. If you want to offer it to me, cool. 
but I ain't gonna sit there and uh, ask you for it <laughs> because um it does seem like there's a lot of self-proclaimed people out there who are calling themselves influencers that ain't about shit that don't do shit that don't want to be about shit and there's a lot of people out there freeloading and that's one of the behind the scene things that a lot of people don't talk about, man. People who have any type of content creation or they feel like, you know, maybe they have bought Instagram followers because usually a lot of people in the 100K range or whatever, some of it is built up from the ground up, but a lot of that stuff is kind of bought. And I was able to get exposed to the marketing aspect of Instagram and how that particularly works. I had a friend share that information with me about how people be buying their followers and stuff like that. So you think that because you have 100K subscribers or anything like that, that you actually bout something when A is bought. And when we look at the likes on your post, they don't know where near compared to the number of people actually, you know, following you. You know, when the numbers don't add up, man, that shit's sad. <laughs> you know, and I and I'm glad that they were able to see behind all that nonsense and all the clout chasing and all the let me stay for somewhere for free or let me see if these people are gonna let me stay somewhere for free. You could see that. It was blatant and it was plain. And now all of a sudden it's a shame that a company has to come out and say, Look, man, stop asking for free shit, bro. You ain't getting it. Everybody else gotta pay, you gotta pay too. So if you wanna come kick it with us at the White Banana Beach Cove you know, whatever it is, the club, whatever I am, come holler at us. But bitch, you got to pay like everybody else. And I love the way that they said that. They worded it so eloquently. And at the end of the day, it just puts a smile on my face. I just felt like sharing that story with you. That right there is a feel-good story of the day. When you put influencers in a place, when they out here trying to ask for free shit, knowing damn well they ain't about shit, just to freeload off of people, it's, it's sad. And you kind of get that with the younger generation of people. You'll see a lot of that in that younger generation. That kind of entitlement to where they feel like, oh, they got a, you know, a sizable following. Yo, let me ask somebody something for free. It's not offered to them. They kind of just feel like they have the obligation to ask for it. Or people are going to be like, oh, let me give this to you for free. It almost reminds me of when you have those types of guys who walk up to the front counter and stuff and people don't recognize them. And they feel like, don't you know who I am? No, bitch, we don't know you like that, right? It's kind of one of those moments. It's a feel-good moment for me. Shit, I get a kick out of it every single time I hear it. But that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this particular uh, story today, man. And uh, the description area below will host the article that I'm referring to. This one was back in 2019, but it still resonates even today. Maybe... Maybe nowadays they're probably I, no. Nah, I doubt they're still offering free stuff, even if they are going through tough times like everybody else. I doubt that they're out there accepting to let people stay for free to bring in more people in because not a lot of people are still able to travel to the Philippines just yet. So it'd still be a waste of time for them to even remotely give in to the uh, fake ass foreigner flex, right? I'm sorry, why did I say foreigner? Fake ass influencer flex. My bad. All right. But y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed. Hope this video finds you well. This has been a good doc. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the good doc is officially out. At least na copa alam, which means I am going now. Uh, Bye-bye, as always. Love you guys. Sincerely do. Makita. Bye-bye. Peace.